Hello and welcome to Cold Wind Reviews. Today we'll be upgrading this computer, which is Paul's computer, which is uh, a computer from 2013, I think. Paul? Yes, it still works fine, but it's getting really slow. So, okay. So this is an i5, 2500, four cores, four threads, 3.3 gigahertz. The RAM you have in here is 16 gigabytes DDR3. So the new hardware that you bought, it's also an i5, but it's a 9400F. Six cores, six threads, that's very good. But I do notice that it's only 2.9 gigahertz. If you use a program that only uses uh, one core or one thread, and that's kind of rare nowadays, everyone's using multi-core and multi-threading, um, this one would have an advantage. You're going from DDR3 to DDR4. This is uh, 1600 megahertz. This is gonna be 3200 megahertz. But limited to 2600. Yeah, because of the, the motherboard. The main thing we're going to upgrade here is uh, the CPU and the RAM. So you're going to start by what? Uh, first I have to take out what's in here before I put that inside. But I noticed here, if you come and check. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's something written here. The yeah, marker. I see it. I'm going to try and... The first thing I'm going to do is try and take that off because that isn't good. Uh, later when you put the, the thermal paste. What I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna use this cloth. It's used for uh, sunglasses normally. But uh, it works fine with this. And... How much is this? 90% 90, 90 alcohol, I think? Yes, I think. I'm gonna leave the CPU in its socket and just try and take as much as I can of this ink. There we go. It is hot in here, so if you see me sweating, it's normal. There's no air conditioning in here, in the in the woods, in our cabin, in the woods. In the mountains. In the mountains. <laughs> Chris! Yes? Can you give me a hand? Sure. You need my expertise. You didn't buy a new graphics card. We're mm -hmm. gonna use the same one. It's, it's, a, it's a GTX 960 basic that Dave offered me. As a present, yes. Really? I don't remember. <laughs> Years ago. So it isn't the, the newest graphics card, but it'll, it'll work fine for what we're doing here. This looks like professional work, so I'm not sure you did that. I didn't do that. And I didn't do that either. We're not professionals here. We're not we're not line stick tips. Okay? So uh, that's why everything is second hand. We don't have the <laughs> same budget. Yeah, we don't have the same budget. And we're not the same we don't have the same kind of expertise either. Where's the hammer? Okay, first thing you should always get out of the way is the graphics card. It's super large. Always be careful when you're pulling out a, a graphics card because usually there's, there isn't only the screw that you see here uh, holding it in. Uh, you do have often... Here. I don't... Yeah. yeah, you often have stuff like this. It's like a little... I don't know how you, you call it. You have to unclip it. Yeah, you, you, you just have to push it in general and then you can just pull and it comes out easily. We're just gonna leave the graphics card here. Never do this when the computer is on, by the way. Okay. Don't do this at home. Don't try this. Don't try it. Don't try it! Okay. This is HD audio, okay. This should be USB 2. And that one, I think it's USB 2. Yeah, it is USB 2 also. Here also, be careful when you're pulling this out because you do have uh, little clips here too. If you don't push it while you're pulling, you could break the, the motherboard. So you just push with your thumb. This isn't really an easy part. Ah, there we go. Windows 7 ready. It's an ancient beast. I think the screws, uh, they all have the same length, so it shouldn't be a problem. But just in case, I am separating the, the different ones. I'm gonna try and pull this out. Yeah, that doesn't matter. And now, we can unplug all these. Don't forget to... Uh, put pressure on these things too because they do have a clips that clipses everything inside. If you pull too hard it, it'll just stay stuck. 
and always be careful with this. One mistake I've often made is um, your power button, reset button and uh, sound, internal sound often is here. And sometimes I forget every time I do this kind of thing. So I pull too hard and then I break something there. There we go. And there we have the old motherboard. Never forget to put the IO shield before the, the, the motherboard or you'll have to unscrew everything again because it, it goes in first. And it should just clips in if you apply enough pressure on it. There, 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 there. Looks like it's in, perfect. Place the motherboard delicately inside the case. And this part is really annoying for me every time because you actually have to try and place this in such a way to make all the I.O. here go, go through this. But it's it's not the best way to do it. My assistant is here to help me. Yes. Oh, perfect. Did you... Okay. Exactly. It's in the right spot. The screws are in the right spot. We can stop. We can start putting the screws back. I think Linus has a lot to learn from you. Yes. What did the store that come? When you're screwing, never put too much pressure. Don't screw too far, or you could break the motherboard. So this is the front USB 2. Yes. You have to take your uh, power button, reset button, and here what do you have? Oh yeah, this is just the LED lights. And you have to put them in the right spot in this thing. But you, you don't always know exactly where to put it, for one. And secondly, sometimes the cables are too short and uh, in this case they are so we'll have to cut something in there assistant please cut correctly okay i'm gonna cut all these three at the same time okay no, i'm no. gonna cut this too because no, i don't want it there and make, make a lot of more room. okay wait i'm gonna show you what you have to cut exactly thank you okay look See these three cables? Yeah. They go through here. Yeah. They go up there. Yeah. And they go down here. What you have to do is to get rid of this. Yeah. And those two. So I can pull this further and put them here. All right. The zip thing is... Zip ties. If it's not the right color, it's going to blow up. The scissors don't cut. <laughs> Okay, so we cut a few zip ties here to, uh, to be able to uh, stretch out some of this stuff. So we're going to start by the, the power button. We're going to test it later. If it doesn't turn on, it's not in the right position. You can see that there's one of these pins, or whatever they're called, that's square. While the other ones are different. See? This one in the bottom is square. Ah, yes, the, the outside of the... Yeah. So you just check here, which one is square, and that one's square on the, bottom, on the bottom right here. So, that can help you place this thing. There we go. HD audio. Here you have two options, actually. You have AC97, HD audio. This is old, this is new. Well, kind of new. And this should go... I think it goes here where you see AAFP. I don't know if you can or see it audio in there. Audio something something. Yeah, it should go there normally. And here it's the same thing. If you look at this, there's one spot that there's one spot that doesn't have a hole. Oh yes. It gives you an indication of where you should put it, and I think it should go there because there's one pin that's missing. Do it smoothly, not too hard. As long as it's inside, it's okay. This is what gives all the power to the to the motherboard, I think. Not sure, but I think. And I think this cable uh, provides the power to the CPU exclusively. It's a little bit more tricky, so try and apply some pressure on the bottom and don't just push it all down because it's a little tricky to stick it in. There we go. 
Now we can put the super glue in the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna put the super glue in the thing. So Paul, you bought uh how about we can use yours? Oh, yeah, you bought a Noctua. This? I think it's the one that Linus is always talking about. I'm not sure. I just remember Noctua. The okay. rest I don't remember. Well, we're not gonna use this today because I actually used one not long ago, like a few days ago, and it's already open, so and this one is a Master Gel Pro from Cool Masters which I think is really good quality too, so. Uh, some people like to use the, the cross technique. Mm -hmm. I just like to put a little bit of Monica, like that. And maybe try and center it a bit. I think I put a, a bit too much actually. Just wait a moment. You want some paper? Yeah, go get me some paper. I'm just gonna take some, a bit out of it. Not too much. There we go. I think this is the most annoying thing for me. Uh, they're very cheap. It's plastic here on the bottom. And it's Intel. It isn't something made from China. And it's really a bad... Design. Uh, yeah, it's really a bad design. For me. So, always check where the... Where the, the CPU fan has to go. There. Now, if you check here, you see the arrows that are in these things. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. The arrow has to be touching the fan. If it's in the other side, it's locked. Okay. Okay. And when it's locked, you can't pull this. So what you want to do is verify that they're all open so you can pull this down. And once they're inside this, awesome. then, you, then you can lock them. Once they're inside uh, those holes. Okay. So I'm just going to verify that all the arrows are facing And you have to clip way. them. Yeah. For the moment, at least, it looks like good second-hand equipment hardware. Uh, it looks clean. It looks not that old or that used, so it looks okay. So here is a tricky part too. What you want to do is pull this to the top and then you push it down. Okay, it looks okay. Now you're just going to turn that the other way and you should hear a clipping sound too. To know if it's okay. And normally if I pull this now, it won't get off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull. Okay, this one came off. Okay, now it's in. Good work. You really don't want the cable to interfere with this. It will use the motor a lot faster or just make this, the fan stop Burn working. It, cut it. And then your, your CPU is just gonna die. Okay, uh, the main... Event. The main disk that we have to put now is the main SSD with Windows. So we can test if this thing works. And apparently it's the yellow SATA you know? because I see the yellow one going to this to the SSD that's up here. No, but I mean, um, how do you know it's the yellow one? Because it's a yellow cable. No, but how do you know that's the one? Because I presume you installed Windows on an SSD, and I don't think it's this one because this one is only 60 gigabytes. No, so it's that one. Yeah, so it must be the yellow cable. You can see here, SATA, 6 gigabytes, 1. Do you see it? Wait, come with this one. So, down here. SATA, 6 gigabytes, 1. Mm -hmm. Right next to it, you see the 2, and here it should be a 3, yep, yes. and a 4. Yes. Okay, so usually what you want, what, what you want to do is put the, the Windows SSD or hard drive in the number 1. Yeah, it is a bit tight. I just need like 1 or 2 millimeters. But the cable goes behind so we can open the back yeah. plate. Okay, let's try the back. main SSD is put in. This is on here. Good, good. Can we swap this while it's powered on? No. Uh, I've never done it. It's not a good idea. Don't, actually, it's never a good idea. Never touch anything in there while it's powered up. 
You can maybe sometimes do it with some with uh, external oh. hard drives or whatever, but don't do it in there. Okay, let's get to the to the DDR4 that you that you dropped earlier. Yep. As you can see here, you can open. Here you cannot. So we're, we're always going to start by putting it here and try and make it go evenly down. This one we didn't find. If, we, if, we, if there's a problem turning on the PC or whatever, I think it's going to be this one. It didn't go all the way and I don't want to push too much. I'd rather take it off later. Oh. This is where the graphics card should go. Never forget to put the screw here because even if it holds this way, you're putting a lot of pressure on the graphics on the on the motherboard. And if you ever move the, the tower, uh, this could move around and really put it could break the motherboard. This power supply has two uh, power cables that you can put on graphics card. This is an older graphics card, so you, you'll only need one of these. The newer ones, you'll need more than this sometimes. It's a li little tricky because some graphics cards use uh, three, like this, and some use four. So what they did is use the same cable, but just split it in two like this. And sometimes it's a bit tricky to place them because they're not stuck together. And uh, that's about it. I propose we try and turn it on. It's so hot right now. It's so hot right now. <laughs> okay, you can do the honors, try and turn it on. Uh, using the power button to see if the power button does something. I shall now press the power button. No, wait, wait. I will not. There you go. Everybody ready? One, two. Lights. Okay, uh, this is working, that's turning, power button is okay, here, LED lights are working, but I don't think that's related, normally you should have a LED the two, light here. The two RAMs are detected. You have 16 gigabytes? Yes. Perfect, so that was installed perfectly. I'm just going to try the reset button right now, reset button is working. Next step is to configure the BIOS so it recognizes the hard drive. Well, it uses that hard drive to boot. Is that your day? No, thanks. Or do you want to share? No, thanks. Okay, so no, he, there's one that he doesn't see. I um, think that's the hard drive. The two SSDs he sees, and you have a 3060 gigabyte. I don't know, 37 gigabytes? What? You have a, you have a hard drive of 37 gigabytes? You gave me nearly all the hard drives. I don't remember having this. Anyway, we're gonna try uh, this one. I, I presume that's the. I think that's, that's 60 goes. gigabytes. Okay. So we're gonna go to bit menu. 60 gigabytes. Corsair GT. Okay, so everything's done now. Uh, all SATA ports are working. We tried all the USB ports, they're working fine. Uh, the LED. Fine, reset, power button, everything's working, and Windows turns on. There you have it. So we went from an old uh, Sandy Bridge from 2013 to an i5 9400F. Oh, we can check it now. Press Control Alt LTD. I just won seven generations. Yeah. And yeah. normally you should have six threads and six cores in process performance maybe performance six so yeah you got six yeah. six threads six cores so there everything's working fine what are the temperatures my old computer was turning around 50 degrees celsius yeah in idle in idle and this one is like 20 degrees less <laughs> so everything's working fine good job guys <laughs>